so I know you have some questions and I wanted to start by thanking you for coming over and hearing me out face to face. I hope I'm not too formal for tonight, but I had the urge to dress up. And if I can be honest, I haven't been able to get fancy for some times. Okay, I get it. You're probably like, it's just the second date meeting for us. Chill, bitch. <laughs> You'd be right. But I meant it when I said, you made me feel really free to be myself. I didn't feel stressed or the need to keep up the mask we tend to put on when we meet someone we're interested in. For the first time, I knew I could put my guard down. Because you listened. You got me. Mm. It was really love at first sight, like in the movies or in fairy tales. You had that effect on me. That's why I got a little clingy and why I blew up your phone afterwards. Now, I can apologize for that, but I will not apologize for checking in with you when you said you had to move back home to take care of your sick mother. I connected with you, so that means I have to connect even more so with your family. I couldn't imagine going through that alone, and that's all I could imagine. You, alone. So I called, and I texted, just to show you how much I cared. You wouldn't have to go through this by yourself. I figured you were probably too busy to call back. Then I thought you could possibly be hurt or sick. So that's why I can't apologize for the constant annoyance you must have felt. I'm sure you were just as shocked as I when we ran into each other at the store. Your jaw hit the floor so quick. You completely forgot to mention your friend's name who you were with. She seemed nice. So, I guess you could say I didn't take it that well afterwards. Right, Ethan. <laughs> this won't be productive if you won't enunciate clearly. Do you promise not to scream this time? I would really hope I don't have to tase you. Again. <laughs> Okay, Regina. Gina! Just Gina. Right. Right. Gina. I should have called or sent you a response. Yes! It was wrong for me to lie to you. I just figured on a hookup app, no one was looking for long-term love. No. No. But on your profile, I read that... I read that you are tired of the games and heartbreaks. That you were looking for a like-minded person who wants to have fun in life. Someone who gets you. Most importantly, you said that you were looking for a fun and interesting person. Didn't you say that? I did. 
Okay, so I'm not making this up. Look closer. I also said I'm here for a fun time and not a long time. My screen profile is Mr. Pleasure Principal. I'm letting you know that I'm only here for no strings attached. I may not have been clear, but but do not plant your red flag on me. I am not a red flag. Really? Are you sure about that? I think I was right about you. What are you talking about? I prefer you when you weren't <laughs> talking. <laughs> so, what are we going to do today? I know. How about my favorite game? Hmm? Operation. expect it to come late as usual of course it comes sooner you ever had that happen to you Since you've learned your lesson, mm -hmm. okay. I will let you go. Mm. Yeah, I just need your help with something. I just need your help. Planting my red flag. <laughs> Red flag my ass. 